Hi everyone. Welcome to today's topic, Vector Multiplication. Vectors are multiplied in two ways. First one, the dot product and the second one, cross product. For dot product, we use a dot. For cross product, we use a cross between the two vectors. Let's start with the dot product. Now, let us say we are given two vectors A and B. Then the dot product A dot B is given by modulus A into modulus B in cos of theta where theta is the angle between the two vectors A and B. Let's look at some results now. You are fully aware that our i, j, k are three unit vectors in the direction of the axis x, y, z. Now, angle between all of them is 90 degrees. I is at 90 degrees to J, J is at 90 degrees to K, K is at 90 degrees to I. What if we have to find the dot product of I and I? Now, these are two unit vectors. If we use the above formula, A dot B, what does it give us? It will give us modulus of i, modulus of i because our b is also i, cos of, now what is the angle between i and i? It is 0. They are the same vectors. Cos of 0 is 1 and modulus of i is 1 because they are unit vectors. So what do we get? 1. That is why when we find the dot product of i and i, j and j, k and k, they will all be one because the angle between them is zero. Now what happens when we find the dot product of i and j? Now the angle between the two you know is 90 degrees. So i dot j will be nothing but modulus of i, modulus of j, cos of 90 degrees. We've used the above formula. You know that cos 90 is zero. So the dot product of two perpendicular unit vectors i and j will be zero. j dot k will be zero and k dot i will be zero. Now, let's come to a few things which you should know. The dot product is a scalar quantity what we get is always some constant value. From the dot product, we can find the angle between the given vectors. There are many applications of our dot product. Let's come to that. In data science, in machine learning, they are used to find the similarity between vectors. For that, we use the angle between them. We can find the projection of one vector over the other. Now, what do we mean by the projection? Now, if you have one vector as A and the other vector is, let's say, B, then if the angle between two of them is theta, then A cos of theta will be the projection of A along B. Now, how does that help? It helps us, the dot product helps us in finding how closely our two vectors A and B are aligned in terms of the direction in which they are pointing. Then, in optimizing linear regression models, in language processing, they are used for finding similarity between words and phrases, in recommendation systems, in neural networks. Also, when solar panels are fixed, the angle between the sun rays and the panel, that matters a lot to optimize the energy, sun energy to be saved on the panels. Let us say we are given two vectors a and b, where a is x1i plus y1j plus z1k and b is x2i plus y2j plus z2k. Then a dot b will be the dot product of x1i plus y1j plus z1k dot x2i plus y2j plus z2k. Multiply each term of the first bracket with the terms of the second bracket. Remember, 
Here x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2 are all scalars. So when we multiply, the dot product is only between the vectors i, j and k and not the scalars. So when we apply, as we know, i dot i, j dot j and k dot k is 1, whereas i dot j, j dot k and k dot i, they are all 0. Substitute these in your expression, you would be getting the dot product as x1, x2 plus y1, y2 plus z1, z2. You have to remember whether we take i dot j or j dot i, it will be the same. So here commutative law for dot product holds. Now what happens when we find the dot product of a vector with itself? In that case, you will see we get our x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k dot x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k. So when you open this bracket, we'll apply the dot product of our unit vectors and this will give us x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square. You can check this, open the bracket, you will see this is what we will get. Now, few things you have to know. When we take the dot product of A with a sum of vectors, it will be distributive. You will get A dot B plus C as A dot B plus A dot C. And if in the other way, if we take A plus B dot C, it would be A dot C plus B dot C. Remember, the dot product of two vectors, if it is zero, that means that our vectors are perpendicular to each other. The reason being, any two perpendicular vectors would have an angle of 90 degrees between them. So, put them in the formula for dot product, A dot P will be nothing but modulus of A modulus of b cos of 90. You know that cos of 90 is nothing but 0, so the dot product becomes 0. Hence, whenever the dot product is 0, it means that the two vectors are perpendicular to each other. One of the important applications of dot product is finding the work done. So, to find the work done by a force, which results in a displacement d is given by dot product of f and d. E. This is the formula which we would be using to finding the work done. Now, let's come to this example. In the first example, we are asked to find the dot product and the angle between the two vectors a is equal to 3k and b is equal to root 2i plus root 2k. So, the dot product A dot B would be 3K dot root 2 I plus root 2 K. Open the bracket, we will get 3 root 2 K dot I plus 3 root 2 K dot K. You know that k dot i will be 0 as the vectors are not, unit vectors are not same and k dot k will be 1. So, this would give us 3 root 2. So, the dot product is nothing but 3 root 2 as k dot k was 1. Now, 
To find the angle between them, we will use the formula A dot B is equal to modulus of A modulus of B cos of theta. We know that our A, I'll just write this as 1 and this as 2. So we have A dot B from the first part as 3 root 2. And what is modulus of A? You know that modulus of A will be 3. What is modulus of B? That would be root of root 2 square plus root 2 square cos of theta. This is 3 root 2 is equal to 3. And what is modulus of B? That is nothing but 2 cos of theta. So this gives us cos of theta, 3 and 3 will cancel, is root 2 by 2. Or you can say it is 1 by root 2. So what is theta? Theta is cos inverse of 1 by root 2, which gives us theta is equal to 45 degrees. Let's come to the second question here. We are asked, find the work done by a force F, which is 2i plus j plus k newtons, in moving an object along a line from O, which is 0, 0, 0, to the point P, which is 1, 1, 1, where the distance is in meters. Now, the first thing is we need to find our displacement D. So, you know that O is nothing but 0, 0, 0 and P is given to be 1, 1, 1. So, the displacement D will be nothing but OP. You have already seen in my previous video how we form this vector. So, we will subtract the coordinates of O from P. So, 1 minus 0 I plus 1 minus 0 j plus 1 minus 0 k will give us our d. F we already know is nothing but 2i plus j plus k. So what is work done? Work done will be nothing but f dot d and this is nothing but 2i plus j plus k dot d which is i plus j plus k. Open the brackets, you will get 2. Now see, i dot i will be 1, so we get this, plus 1 plus 1. So our work done is 4 joules. I have used the formula for A dot B is equal to x1, x2 plus y1, y2 plus z1, z2. The second type of vector multiplication is the cross product. You have already seen, we use the cross to denote it. Let us say we are given two vectors, A which is A1i plus A2j plus A3k and B which is B1i plus B2j plus B3k. Then the cross product of A and B is given by modulus of A into modulus of B sin theta into n. Now you see n is nothing but the unit vector which gives the direction. So cross product is always a vector whereas dot product is a scalar quantity. So you have to remember here A and B are not parallel. The cross product gives a vector perpendicular to both A and B. This is something which you have to know. And the direction is given by the right hand rule. We will see what that is. The magnitude is equal to the area of a parallelogram that the vectors span. So we are talking about the magnitude of the cross product. So now what is the formula which is used? So A cross B is given by 
you form a determinant i j k write all the coefficients of the vector a which were a1 a2 a3 write the coefficients of vector b which were v1 v2 b3 and open up that gives us the cross product you will see it will come out to be a vector remember guys a cross b will be equal to minus times b cross a so unlike the dot product it is not commutative your sign will change one more thing which you have to remember is that for cross product we can only apply or find the product when we have a our vectors are in three dimensions whereas dot product we can find for plane also when vectors are in the plane so for cross product vectors should be in space now few things which you have to note let's take a circle we have taken the clockwise direction our i j and k now i cross j will give us k and k cross i will give us j but if you reverse the sign will be negative so j cross i when i reverse i cross j will give me minus k which means that if i am taking this direction i will get minus k and in the same way k cross j will give me minus i k cross j will give me minus i so this is something which you have to remember let's look at certain rules if we are given some scalars a and b and three vectors capital a b and c then these rules apply a times vector a cross product b times vector b will give us ab brackets a cross b second one a cross b plus c will be nothing but a cross b plus a cross c so it is distributive third a plus b cross c now we are multiplying a plus b from the right we'll get a cross c plus b cross c when we find the cross product of a vector with the zero vector we will get a zero vector the fifth point a cross b cross c will be nothing but a dot b c minus a dot c b now this is something which is different and you need to remember come to the sixth point if cross product of two vectors a and b is zero it means that the vectors are parallel or they overlap and from the cross product we can always find the vector which is perpendicular to the plane of a cross b let's come to some example in the first example we are given two vectors a and b and we are asked to find the cross product so here the cross product of a and b will be nothing but form the determinant right i j and k in the first row now write the coefficients of i and j k from a you know the coefficient our coefficients are 1 minus 2 1 and the coefficients of i j k from b minus 1 1 and minus 1 open the bracket you will get i times the determinant minus 2 1 1 minus 1 minus j from the determinant 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus k 1 minus 2 minus 1 1 open this up we will get i 2 Minus one, 
माइनस जे माइनस वन प्लस वन प्लस के वन माइनस टू दिस गिव्स एस आई माइनस के एस द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए एंड बी Let us now find the vector product b cross a. So, our product of vectors b and a will be will form the determinant i j k. Write the coefficients of b first, which are minus one, one, minus one. Then the coefficients of a. One minus two, one, and open the determinant. We will get i, the determinant one minus one, minus two one, minus j, minus one minus one, one one, plus k, and the coefficient minus one one one. Minus two. Open the determinant. We will get i one minus two minus j into zero. You see that the columns are identical, so the determinant is zero. Plus k two minus one. So this gives us. Minus i plus k. Now, if you compare your b cross a to your a cross b above, you will see that a cross b is nothing but minus b cross a. So as we had. Mentioned earlier, or at the beginning, a cross b is minus of b cross a. Let's stop here. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will be solving a lot of problems on vectors. For detailed notes and exercises on vectors, you can go to my website www.profprithibajpay.com. Go to courses. Under courses, you will find remedial, and there you will find all the notes.